G'day everybody, we're back here at BM Pro headquarters and I still got Ryan Hammond with me from SPB. So thank you Ryan for continuing through the series with us. No problem. So today we're gonna to work a little bit more technical than our last one. We're gonna work through understanding voltage yep. uh, with the lithium batteries. So the big thing we've had at BM Pro and been pushing for a long time is voltage is only one indication of um, you know your state of charge and your state of health. And we know that voltage drops off and it can drop off really, really quickly. And you know with our lead acid batteries that we've had for many, many years, we see a, a gradual decline and then all of a sudden it drops off the, off the edge of the cliff. And you've got nothing left. But with lithium, please explain, it's a little bit different. Yeah, correct. So on the discharge curve of a lithium ion phosphate, that's very flat. Yeah. So it holds that voltage all the way down to about 90% depth of discharge right. and then drops off very quickly. So the benefit of that is that uh, as you discharge the battery, the voltage holds above 12 volts right up to that 90% depth of discharge. So you've really only got about 10% left yep. before it drops off. So the benefit of that is uh, batteries deliver power to power your device. Correct. Power equals volts times amps. So if the voltage isn't dropping off as the battery discharges, then uh, you're not using as, as much of the available capacity. You're not drawing as many amps as you would equivalent AGM. So therefore, it's got a more efficient use of the available capacity, lithium ion phosphate, which in the end gives you a longer run time when compared to an equivalent AGM. Yeah, because on the AGM, obviously, as that voltage starts to drop off, we have to bring the amps up on the other side to keep the power at the same level. Correct. For whatever device which we're actually going to be powering at the exactly. time. Exactly, yep. All right, so now what happens to a lithium battery um, when we get down too far and we, we drop off that edge and the battery then, it can go to sleep, can't it? Correct, yeah. So the, the BMS, as we spoke about before, is a protection device yep. and protects the cells against uh, misuse. Yep. One of those is over discharge. Yep. Okay, so with the Invicta range, the BMS will protect at about 10 volts. Right, but people shouldn't be relying upon this as a low voltage disconnect, could they? Correct, no, no it's, so. it's not there as a LVD or no. low voltage disconnect. It's there to protect the cells yep. against uh, low voltage. Yeah, okay. sure. So if you discharge a uh, lithium battery and it gets to that stage where it's gone below that threshold, below that 10 volts. There has been issues out there where people can't bring these batteries back. They can't recharge them back the other way, can they? What happens when it's in uh, that protection mode or sleep mode, as soon as you put a load across the terminals, uh, the voltage will drop to zero. Yep. Now, as you know, with uh, some smart chargers, they need to see a voltage yeah, before they, they start to charge. Yep. Okay, so therefore, they won't charge. Yep. And a lot uh, of those are around six volts, nine volts. Correct. And if yep. they don't see anything below, anything around that level or higher, they won't even activate and turn on. Yeah, correct. And so, one of the big benefits of the BM Pro uh, charger range with the lithium profile yep. is that you've got a, uh, a power supply mode, if you like, which doesn't need to see that voltage, yep. and that'll wake up uh, the lithium batteries, yep. and that's uh, it's quite unique in the in the BM Pro range. It is, and then we just flick it back across into the lithium mode, and uh, get it fully recharged up again. Correct, and that's done in your uh, on your lithium setting. Yeah, it's done automatically, yep, so it, it wakes it back up again. It wakes it back up, and uh, it gets going, so yep. people can get back underway. Now, the other thing as well is that I get asked, especially you know with lead acid batteries, and people store their vans a lot of the time over yep. winter. And with a lead acid battery, they always go and recharge it first because it's got a, a reasonably high self discharge. Yeah. And so, you know, three or four months later, they'll come back five months later and they might have lost 10, 20, 30% capacity out of that battery. But you don't have that with a lithium battery, don't you? You can, you can store it sitting at like a 50% depth of discharge. Yeah, you? no problem. So the, uh, the self discharge rate of lithium ion phosphate is, is very low when compared to, to AGM. So yeah. it can sit unused. For an, expended, uh, for an extended period of time, yep. you come in and uh, charge it up and, and away it goes. Right, okay. So one of the big benefits of uh, lithium ion phosphate over, over your AGM. Yep. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully in this episode, we've given you a little bit more knowledge on understanding voltage with lithium. Uh, that's another one of the reasons as to why we get that extended life out of lithium battery, because of the voltage side of things. So hopefully you've been able to understand that and we'll see you in the next episode.